Whether you're trying to get to sleep or you're struggling to wake up, stretching is an option you don't even have to leave bed for. Before we get into the routine, let's cover what actually makes stretching so important. Stretching is an essential part of any physical activity, whether it's sports, fitness, or just daily life. It involves lengthening your muscles to improve their range of motion, flexibility, and overall mobility. And I'd say there are five reasons you should consider stretching daily. First off, stretching can help prevent injuries. When your muscles are tight and inflexible, they're more susceptible to sprains, strains, and other types of injuries. So dynamic stretches before exercise will help warm them up and reduce the risk of injury. Secondly, stretching can help improve your posture. Tight muscles are going to cause imbalances in your body, which can lead to back pain and poor posture over time. So stretching regularly can help loosen them up and improve your posture, which will reduce the pain and discomfort you might feel. Thirdly, stretching is going to reduce tension and stress in your body. We build up a lot of tension in our muscles, which leads to stiffness and discomfort. So stretching will help relieve tension by promoting relaxation and reducing stress levels. Now, fourthly, stretching is going to help improve your athletic performance. When your muscles are more flexible, you can move more easily and more efficiently, which will improve your speed, agility, and overall performance. And lastly, stretching is going to improve your overall quality of life. As we age, our muscles will become stiffer and less flexible, which will lead to a more sedentary lifestyle. So start stretching earlier so you can stay active longer. Now let's get into this routine. Let's get down to business. <sighs> All right, guys, so as discussed, we're starting this routine right here in bed. I'm gonna assume that's where you are. And pretty much, we're just getting out, waking up, going right into a knee hug. So essentially, I'm just laying flat, getting my knees up, and then bringing it as far as I can. Now, as you can see, I've got my neck on this pillow because it's a safe position for me, but if the pillow wasn't here, then ideally, I just lay my head flat. <sighs> and then just bring my knees as far in as possible. And you can really just hold this position as long as you want. I mean, it's recommended to use most stretches for about 30 seconds or just 10 breaths on average. And a breath is just gonna be a Inhale, exhale, yeah. And then from there, I'm just going right into a spinal twist. Starting pretty straightforward. Just taking one knee over on the other side, one arm straight across, other arm the opposite way as I slowly try to open up. Now, if I were you, if you know you're pretty stiff in the morning, I wouldn't just swing my arm over there. I'd take my time, actually go with a bent arm first, and just open up. And then, oh yeah, see, even with that one, I just I just felt a pop right there. And then, you know, just straighten it out and let it fall. And again, same concept, 30 seconds or 10 breaths, whichever you prefer. And as with everything that involves more than one side, just make sure you alternate sides and use the same breath system or time system on the other side as well. From there, we're right here at the edge of the bed to work on a few stretches that'll benefit our neck. So pretty simple, just make sure we're sitting up straight with a neutral spine, chest slightly elevated, and you just wanna take your head straight back. Then you wanna do the same thing going forwards. Now, I couldn't really talk you guys through what you should be doing when you're in that position, but just take deep breaths. And with each breath, try to take your head further back or further forward, depending on which position you're in. And next up, you might wanna grab the side of your leg just so you have some support. Go from there, grab the opposite side of the leg that you're holding, and then just pull your elbows straight towards the ground. And when doing exercises that involve one side, make sure you alternate and do the same thing on the other side. So again, grabbing that leg, top of my head, elbow down towards the ground. Now, lastly, I'm just gonna take our legs right up this wall. <sighs> okay. <sighs> so whatever you need to get up there, you know, whatever that is for you, whatever that takes, but just figure it out. <sighs> you get to the wall, right? Now from here, I'm just gonna relax. Now, ideally, you could have like, you know, a rolled up shirt or a rolled up towel and you could place that under you, but I didn't think that part through before I got up here, so. Uh, 
it's a good position to relax in. You know, if you're waking up, it'll definitely help you wake up. You're probably not gonna wanna go to sleep after all those stretches. But if you're trying to get to sleep, this will definitely be a great cool down for your body as well. It's the blood flowing, it's great for your lower back, great for your legs. It's also great for growth for those people that are you know, worried they won't be tall enough in life. This could help. And that's the routine, guys. Thank you for watching today's video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. I post content daily to help you start your fitness journey. Now let's keep working smarter.